Welcome to Sad Games, and today we're playing Nine, nine hours, hours, Nine, nine persons, persons, and Nine Doors. doors. Together. Together. Help us some people off. <laughs> we're going to be playing through this game, maybe the whole trilogy. Uh, this is the confusing first part of a trilogy called Zero Escape, or something like that. And this is a part of a bundle on PC called the Nonary Games, or Nonary, I don't know what the word, N-O-N-A-R-A, -A. I don't know how to spell it actually, I forgot how to spell it. Probably Nonary? Non non nonary? Dundane. Dun dun dunde? Dunde deska? Daijoubu. These are like visual novel games where, that are like. I would love to say it's a puzzle game slash escape room game, but it's really more. I think it's more about a visual novel about people that are in a puzzle escape room like saw scenario. It's a visual. Of. Yeah, that it, yeah. most visual novels have complex like puzzle systems attached yeah. to them when they're genuine so, visual so novels. So we'll like eventually solve puzzles, I think, but it might yeah. be a lot of watching cutscenes, which yes. we'll, we we will be talking periodically during because otherwise it might be a half an hour of just silently watching a cutscene, and I might go crazy. And that's also illegal. Yeah, it's also like not how. That's uh, not how fair use works. Yeah, <laughs> let's find out. Let's find out how this PC port of a DS uh, game works. For for clarity's sake, uh, Keith is the one that is controlling this ship. Yeah, because I bought uh, these games for a bunch of money, <laughs> and he also is better at puzzles. So yeah, uh, but two minds are better than one. And yeah, you seem to be better at Talos than I was, but way worse at Witness than I am. <laughs> so who knows? As long as they're not open world, I'm good. Hooray! Let's go. Uh, Would you like to save here or there on this Mario screen? Yeah, I was gonna say, is this like, is this legal? Did you just steal that from Mario? <laughs> uh, it's fine, they're covered in spikes. I think it's like literally the same exact measurements of those question kind marks of, too. but they're printed on computer chips. That are still in block form! Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be memory blocks! Yeah. Well, we finished saving the prologue. This game is fiction. All names, characters, and incidents portrayed in this production are fictitious. Two months to play a novel and adventure. You can switch in and out. I mean, interchangeably. By the way, the only reason that says that is because that is like a really weird law in Japan that you have to do that. Oh, that the game's fictional? Uh, that the game's fictional and all names are not uh, related to anybody. Ooh, artifacting. Hi. Uh, I think we're going to experience a lot of that. Oh, we're on. Oh, I think we're on a boat in this game. It, what? Can you. Can you, I are, think are we're you on count, a boat. Wait, are you counting down or counting up? Oh, look, it's an engine now, I think. No, that's... It's an engine? <laughs> okay, so it's counting down. Wait, does zero count as a number? So is it actually ten doors? Maybe the whole place blows up if we don't escape in nine hours. That would be terrifying. Leave big waste of time and money, because that's a giant boat you're blowing up. A loud noise startled Junpei awake, and his eyes snapped open. Is that how you pronounce that? Wait, what? I, I thought it was voice acting. Is that how you pronounce Junpei? <laughs> yeah, Junpei. Yeah. It's mo Japanese is mostly what phonetic. It is voice acted. Oh. Oh, oh, so we are narrating. Yeah, as they oh, adjusted okay. to the light, he realized he... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to finish reading that. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Jesus! That was really startling. <laughs> Jesus. With the crack of Junpei's head connected with something metal, like opened my eyes for the first he time. He rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself, but he found himself groping in empty air. Uh, what? Whoa! His balance lost, and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down to the cold gray floor. Ouch! God damn it! Ah! What the hell? A bed? I fell pretty far. That really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. Are we supposed to think that he's thinking in his head right now? Or that, like, he's just self-narrating out loud to everybody? I... I feel like there has to be, like, a third party, right? Maybe. There has to be, like, some kind of third party who's telling the story? That's not it. Oh. An earthquake. But it, it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. Wait, can oh. you have earthquakes at sea? He doesn't know he's on a boat, I don't think. Oh, okay. I was like, can you have- Because he was like, a bed, question mark. <laughs> what, what kind oh, of- look! Where? A room. What kind of life do you live? There's like puzzles and stuff, like little triangles and things. Oh, yeah. Where am I? You, wait, you're just asking that? Not about the earthquake? There's a picture of a boat. <laughs> now he knows where he is. It, it stopped? <laughs> yeah, the boat probably evened out. Or bottom out. What's that sound? I mean, pretty okay. 
Yeah, for pre-rendered screens. Yeah, that's five. Oh, we're in we're door number five in this nine doors game. What's this so, five mean? I mean, presumably there's five people behind. I mean, nine people behind nine doors, right? I don't know. Ah, it won't open. Tell them what they want, Jim. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Hey, hello? Is anyone there? Did you try the lever? Open the door. Hit the lever. <laughs> huh? What the hell is this? A watch? It doesn't look like one. Five. No, it only tells one time. <laughs> five. Forever. It's five o'clock somewhere. That's, that's the same as the door. I must be number what? five. How do I take this off? Mm. I think I just guessed a twist. Immediately. It's Battle Royale. The series is called Zero Escape. They all have numbers. I bet there's going to be a character named Zero. Or that is the number Zero. That's going to be the twist, like, five hours from now. <laughs> Well, I'm way to spoil it, it Keith. Call it right now. God, <laughs> maybe I was really invested in the story, and now I'm gonna be pissed when Zero shows up. <laughs> I'm just gonna immediately call that right now. Maybe pushing something on this will work. Nothing. It lowers his number. Damn. <laughs> Four, <laughs> three, two. You get one more press. <sighs> no good. This stupid thing won't come off. Have you tried cutting off your arm? What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am what? I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the what? hell happened to me? Stop shouting at the beds. What the <laughs> fuck did they do to you? Uh, 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 my head. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do that again? That do, you, do you want to do another line of that? Like another read might that be worse? Really <laughs> oh, my head. The seven flashes of images just the blackout, then oh, my head. I, I really was afraid we were looping. <laughs> gonna start the night over. This is... Hold on. Uh, Am I on a ship? He's catching up. I can't see anything. If only it Wait, the so window made outside. you think you're on a ship? It is, it is a weird bolt window. It's thing. a porthole! That yeah. must be on a ship! I mean, yeah, that's not unreasonable. I mean... Huh? Uh, what the? Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. It was not like there's water what behind the, it. What the hell is going on here? Isn't that just leading out to the outside? Oh shit, no, no, that's, that's, oh, okay, that's not in the ship. What I thought that hell? was a window into the God ship. damn it! Well, well that you... ranks high on the list of things that's probably not good news. What happens if I hit RB? Junpei yelled and spun around, his feet slipping on the water already coming through the window. He ran for the door. I wonder if I should switch to this all the time. I feel like this random, I, I feel like him talking about himself is supposed to be punctuated by descriptions happening. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Because I, oh. I switched to novel mode just now. Yeah. It auto switched me to adventure mode just for a, for a moment there, but I just switched back myself. And I feel like we've, we've probably been missing stuff, actually. Hey! Anyone! Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something! Have, have you tried the lever? Yeah, <laughs> hit the lever. There was no reply. As Junpei screamed and pounded on the door, the water began to rise. It was now ankle deep on the floor and rising quickly towards his knees. Well, that's one way to get it's, rid of somebody. It's not stopping. <laughs> he just dies immediately. Yeah. He's just not the protagonist. Oh, there you go. It's like the cold open of a lot of shows. It makes make sense. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. Like every Saw movie opens with some random person dying. I need to find a way out and fast. Junpei ran ahead across his forehead, brushing the sweat out of his eyes and looking around the room. Oh, oh, that's you now. What? I guess that's Junpei's face. Seek a way out. <laughs> or die, I guess. <laughs> the end. Oh. Third uh, class cabin. Wait, who... Uh, excuse me. That's the map. Are you, like, the camera? I think this is what used to be the bottom screen of the DS. Oh. This is the touch screen that controls where, I'm, where I am right now, I guess. That's fancy. So. I, I can probably toggle it. Operations during an escape. During an escape, you are restricted to an area. Your goal, search around to undercover how to unlock the door. Oh, so it is like a video game. <laughs> that, that seems very bad. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Use the cursor to select the location you find suspicious to search the room. Walk around with left bumper and right bumper. That's how we change screens and missed style, I guess. Left stick okay. controls. Move the left stick during an escape to use the cursor. Press X to speed up the movement. 
or oh, so you can just move the cursor faster, I guess. Press A to search. So like, woo, X, the normal speed. All right. Water just keeps pouring through the window. It's like a waterfall. I don't think shoving something into the window is going to stop the water. Probably not. In other words, if I don't want to die, I need to find a way out of this room. I have to figure this out. I'm assuming the puzzle above the sink, that's like the most important thing. Yeah, there's a weird, this thing in particular was like weird looking from the get go. Yeah. What is it? About items. Once you've obtained an item, you'll be able to go to the item screen. Pressing Y will take you to the item screen. There we go. No oh, from bulletin board. Oh, oh, it spins. Okay. So it's you can combine it with something apparently. It looks like um, a solid triangle, empty triangle, solid triangle, empty triangle, and like left or right sort of transition. I bet it's a key to like not a key as in like a yeah, actual physical key, but it's key, like, but like the a key to like figure an out a puzzle. Key. Yeah. Yeah. It's got that and that on it. <laughs> that's that's what happens when you click search on it. It tries oh. to explain what it looks like. Okay. Does it give me a different description of the back, I wonder? Nope. Nope. This is a comprehensive little interface. Investigate with an item. So it's basically Ace Attorney. Yeah. Yeah. The item invisible in the lower left is the item currently in hand. When you choose, when you close the item screen, the last selected item will be in hand. That's okay. handy. Yeah. Literally handy. Yeah. Yeah. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Oops. Try switching out items in hand and search in different places. Ah. The old Press rubbing. The, the yeah. old rubbing click. Yeah, <laughs> rub this chicken on this pulley until something <laughs> happens. Press up on the D-pad to quickly change between items. Oh, that's convenient. I go. Well, oh, I'm thinking you need to put that piece of paper in the water. <laughs> Just lose it immediately. Wait, you took the picture frame? Yeah, low res ass, hard to read picture frame. That is a fast spin animation, by the way. What does it say? An old picture frame. There's a picture of a ship in it. There's screws keeping the back on. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh they're really, uh, really low poly screws. Is it, Are, is it a Phillips okay, or so, is it a flathead? So searching is important, apparently. Yeah, that's important information to reveal. So I probably need to find a screwdriver and combine. Yeah. That's interesting. But what kind of screwdriver? I don't know. A, a in most adventure games, you use like a, qu a quarter. <laughs> Have you exp experienced that yet? <laughs> a quarter. You, you played. Oh, you never played the first uh, Walking Dead game, but yeah, a lot of adventure games have you unscrew stuff with a coin at some point. Oh well, yeah, because it's, it's almost everything's a flathead. It's basically a trope. Except for anything that's important. It doesn't which is seem the like there's anything hidden in the sink. This is the only drain in the room. Well, you better start opening it. <laughs> yeah, it's not really... I mean, eventually it might save us like a few seconds. <laughs> it's a towel. Yes. Yeah, there's a towel next to the sink. Clean up the water. You don't want to get charged for this. Can I read this? Bulletin board. There's nothing on it, except for all that text that you can see. <laughs> I think it, they meant like a chalkboard. And they changed their mind, decided bulletin board. What's that little cubby above the sink? Or above this the guy? Thing? Yeah. Nothing. Okay. Not a big deal, it, apparently. Thought it maybe Here. it was a room. Teapot? There's a suitcase. Oh yeah, what's in your what's what's in the box? No dice, it's locked tight. You didn't bring it? Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. Oh. We have a code. So we need to find a code in order to open the suitcase that I bet has like a switch in it or something or like Probably a, a screwdriver. A screwdriver, yeah. I want to open the briefcase, I need to fill it up with a key. Wait, did somebody... <laughs> That's weird phrasing. Did somebody, like, if somebody put a screwdriver in there, I'm not going to be able so to force mad. it open. I should probably start looking for a key. Probably inside of the furnace, right? I kind of like that there's no voice acting during the puzzle part, because this, this is where we're going to be, like, trying to talk to each other about what to yeah, do. Yeah, this would be the most obnoxious time to have voice acting. I can't see the bottom of the ladder. What? Oh, man. The water's already up to the bottom of the bed. How... I've got to hurry this up. How dirty is, it is this moving, water? Or is it just staying still? No, it's staying still. I don't think it's moving, yeah. I guess open it? This is the door to the stove. Well, it opens easily enough. Sure wish the, uh, the door to get out of here was that easy to open. There's oh, a screwdriver. screwdriver. Yeah. Well, that solves the mystery of whether or not the stove has been used before. What? That was a mystery? What's this? It looks red. Oh, it's blood. Oh, screwdriver. No, it's a screwdriver. <laughs> it's blood! It is a Phillips. Combine. Or it's a flathead, sorry. You. It is a flathead. Well, the screwdriver got those screws off easily enough. And here's the picture. Oh, wait, we wanted the picture. Oh! oh. So that's how you figure out the combination. Yeah. Oh. One, two, three, four, and five. So, so the combination, them all out the combination is six... Uh, six, four... Wait, go back. I'm trying to rotate it. It's not God. really working get, out. It's fine. Get, get it, Keith. It's fine. So, so it's six, four. Because that's... Yeah. What order do you think the arrow goes in? 
I guess left or right is what we're looking at. So uh, yeah, so it's left or right because the arrow's pointing that way. Yeah. So yeah. So six, top left solid. Six four. Uh, could you flip that? <laughs> boy oh boy. Keith, there's water rising in the room. Listen, could you hurry it up? This is not. It's very sensitive and it's controlled by one stick. I think. No, it's not. Oh, they both do the same thing though. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Does so, it stay that way? Thank goodness. Okay. So, <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh wait, so I'm sorry, it's seven. So it's seven Let's four. Seven, four, six, seven, four, uh, six, six three. three. Seven four six three. Combining items. I did that already. Oh, oops. You fucked up, Keith. You're supposed to learn about it first. Yeah, and then if you combine items they get a different item. But yeah, it destroyed this it actually destroyed the screwdriver. It's gone. Oh it did? Yeah. So said it was seven four? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm aware. I was just saying, I need to put the right number in. Well, how, how do you wait? change it? I guess I need to put the key in the keyhole before I can enter any numbers. Oh, we need to find the key first. Oh. Okay. My bad. Uh, uh, I need a combination and a key. That's teapot? extreme. But yeah, like, if you look at my inventory, there's n there's no uh, screwdriver or frame anymore. I guess you just wait, threw them out. Said, yeah, it says that when you combine items... Like, I, I thought it was combined in the adventure sense of mash these things together until something happens. Yeah. But it's the literal combined sense, like a crafting system. We used a screwdriver and a frame to craft the thing that was inside the frame, basically. I mean, probably. So I guess when you find items like that, it's going to usually be like a one-use thing instead of like a tool you keep around. That seems. Because who would that want a screwdriver, right? Uh. Hello. Hello. There's a key. Oh. Let's see if there's anything in here. Huh. Looks like there is. R like, thank you. A key. Yep, that's a key, right? A little blue one. A little blue key. <laughs> It's definitely not for a door. Definitely not for a door. Well, your door has no keyhole What's on it. What's it for so. then? The key's blue. There's supposed to be something that else that's blue. Wow, this is really handholdy. It is the tutorial room. We figured out like starters, all the though. other elements. Yeah. He. Oh wow. Oh. oh. Let's that see was... what happens if I put this blue key in the keyhole. So what was the code? And nothing. I guess I'm gonna need some sort of code for the dial. Do you remember mini what... games during an escape your invention may tr uh, investigation may trigger one of the several mini games all operations of the mini games are done by using left stick and a some mini games will require you to manipulate something while others will only require you to apply the right object or press the right thing operation instructions pressing the dial will cause it to move to the next number enter four numbers in this way and then press the key if the numbers are correct it will unlock if not it will blow up yeah <laughs> it will self destruct and die do you remember what it was uh Seven four. Okay, seven four. Jesus. Ah, I keep stopping like right after. Seven four. <laughs> something something. Fuck. Six three. Yeah, six three. That sounds right. Nope, you were wrong. So let's go back. Let's look at my inventory. Oh Damn my it! God. Open you stupid thing. I don't think it's gonna open if I whack it on it a couple of times. Might make me feel better. Not gonna help though. All right, Junpei, don't freak out. Keep it cool and look around for some more clues. Well, we have the clue. Yeah. We just forgot. We're a little ahead of Junpei today. It's fine. Two heads are better than one. Uh. Uh. uh there, there we, we go. go. I was like, how do I get to the item? I'm scared. Okay, so it's seven. Uh, seven four. Seven. Seven four, four six three. Six three. We were right. Seven four six three. Uh oh. What is... Top left. Seven, four. Six, three. Could this be... That? Because it's supposed to point up, like, sometimes arrows just are supposed to point up and stuff, maybe? Well, no, wouldn't it be- wouldn't it make more sense to be sideways since we're putting in the code sideways? Maybe. But we already tried seven, four, six, three, didn't we? And it didn't work? I'm right, I... right? That we already did it? Yeah. Let's so I'll try this one then. Two nine three six. Two nine three six. All right. Let's, let's find the out. Uh, let's find out. Please don't make us type. Okay. He likes to talk. <laughs> Two. What? Oh. That's why it was it was looping so fast, and I was confused because it was skipping from five. Oh. It doesn't go over five. This so, does. Oh, so it did, some of them don't go over five. This, what's the highest number they go to? Ah, the second digits are all five and below. Okay. So it can't be that configuration. So we were right the first time then. We had to be. 
This raises a question. What? What? The colors are weird, right? The red and blue. Yeah, why is it red and blue? You want to look around the room more? Yeah, let's. let's I mean, see if there's another clue. There's nothing wrong with looking around the room. We're yeah. not, you know. File calc flow. What? Oh, let's not look at that. That's the flow chart for the entire game story. We're not gonna look at that until we've at least beaten it once or something. <laughs> so we'll what? see if we beat it multiple times so, or not or whatever. But <laughs> this is the middle bunk bed. This okay. is the middle of the bunk bed. Yep. Uh, what about the other <laughs> That's side? What he said. What about the? Well, oh. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that, oh, because there's, there's, two, red, there's two colors. There's a red suitcase. Because the blue symbol and the red symbol. So there's a red suitcase and a blue suitcase. Yeah, somehow. What the fuck does that... Oh, no, does that just mean it's duplicate? There's a lock on this one, too. And it's not opening. Is the blue just a duplicate of that one? Of you that think it's just two digits repeating? Yeah. Because C0101. We can test that idea. Oh, look. Ah. Jesus. <laughs> Come on. It's a little out of control. Uh, it's... Do that way. There, there we go. go. All right. Uh, so six, six three. three six three. Yeah. We could try it. We I mean, have, we don't have a red key for this one anyway. And that may be what's in the other suitcase. Maybe. Which would be dumb. Yeah. Okay, Junpei, you don't need to narrate this one. Try it. Really? Let's double check real quick. Was it seven what six three? Seven four six three. Okay, well fuck me then. I guess I'm wrong. It's gonna be faster for me to look for clues. Plugging in random numbers is just gonna get me nowhere fast. I just have to find the right number and turn the key. I thought we did, Jimbei. Don't and be then... a fucking sass bass. Alright? Okay, so we found so what about behind you? There's a whole nother bunk behind you, right? I can keep looking till the cows come home. All I'm gonna find up here is that pillow. <laughs> Damn it! Isn't there anything else I can use? He's talking to maybe Let's go back brain. to the curtain real quick. Is there anything else here? It's a closet. <laughs> I click on the frame. Not, not much nope, else here. Just that right. suitcase. Can you look this down over here? Oh no, that zooms into the that case. Zooms down here. Yeah. Oh okay. What about? Use, yeah, there we go. Use, wow, that's actually a decent-looking animation for spinning, kind of. Yeah, you get a sense of where we are. What's that over there? Uh, the behind switch the, thing behind the bunk bed. That thing. Yeah. Oh, a mirror. Oh, a mirror. Oh, there's a key on it. With a red key. Da 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 da. Okay, so now we, we have the red, the red key. key. I should probably hold on to this key. He said oh. that out loud. Yeah. Oh. What's up with my face? <laughs> what? I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and. and. You're doing this now? You're like about to drown. I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. Oh wow, that is a yeah. lot of. It was past night, midnight when he came home. Junpei shuffled up the stairs and opened the door to apartment 201. Inside was his apartment, a small one bedroom affair. He ran him, that, that ran him about 630 a month. He moved into it when he entered college. And so far, he'd been there for three years, nine months. So, 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 hold on. Okay. Why? It's a weird port, right? That this is not shown by default? No, why though? What? Why you, why you give so many numbers? Oh, you think the numbers might be a code? Why do I care that it's apartment 201? Why do I, why do I give a fuck how much he pays for rent? And why does it matter that he had, he, that he'd been there for three years and seven months? Might just be backstory for his character. That's a little too specific with the date in particular. Are you sure? Maybe. He stepped inside and turned on the lights. The fluorescent lights on the ceiling blinked and flickered slowly to life as if waking from a deep slumber. Uh, man, work was rough today. Their cold light illuminated landscape he'd come home to so many times before. Everything was as he'd left it. The magazines piled up in the corner, the textbooks uh, collecting dust, the CD cases covering the floor, the jeans and t-shirt he'd worn the day before, then tossed onto the floor. So if we were in adventure mode, it would just skip all that, I guess. <laughs> You'd just be like, oh, I'm home, uh, the end. Yeah. 
There was one thing that didn't belong, however. Huh? A breeze? You're a breeze. The white curtain framing his window swayed gently in the cold wind. Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? If you have to ask that, probably no. <laughs> Junpei walked toward the window, trying to remember if he'd closed it or not before he left. One of the panes was hanging open. He stuck his head out and looked around. Hmm, everything and, looks okay. And then the pig from Saw jumped out. <laughs> I must have forgotten to close it. He closed the window. Then it happened. <laughs> what? Junpei turned and found himself face to a ma face to mask with a man dressed in all black. That uh, really threw me off. So just to fight a fault, want to say face to face, but they're yeah. being all clever with it. <laughs> the man wore a deep hood, a bulky gas mask. His face was entirely hidden. And somehow got to your house like that, and no one stopped him. Yeah. Suddenly he couldn't finish. Junpei tried to yell, but all he could manage was a strangled croak. <laughs> wobble wobble. <laughs> I, I, I guess he's being choked out. I was thinking it was gas. Junpei collapsed on the floor in a crumpled heap of limbs like a discarded puppet. Oh, which, yeah, uh -oh. okay. That makes sense. Too late. He noticed the white smoke that was quickly filling his apartment. A small object shaped distressingly like a grenade sat on the floor in front of his face, hissing. The white smoke poured out of it at an incredible rate. The smoke had grown so thick but the details of Junpei's apartment began to fade into the white haze. He could feel his mind begin to fade as well, a white haze that it was that was not the smoke creeping into the edges of his vision. Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. A rasping voice formed its wormed its way out of the gas mask. You think that's raspy? Listen, they did the writing before they did the voice acting. <laughs> Like, by a margin of years. I wouldn't be surprised if the, uh... I wouldn't be surprised if this if this is, like, the jigsaw or whatever of the scenario. I wouldn't be surprised if the voice actor came later for the later games, but then the description for the over, for the original voice still existed in the first game, and then they used the, the vo later voice actor for the first game. Uh -uh. Even if it doesn't fit the description for the voice they, they actually wrote way back then. Yeah. It was cold and harsh and distorted in some way Junpei couldn't put his finger on. I mean, it's through a synth synthesizer. Oh, now he knows how to pronounce it. It's nonary. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. Seems to happen a lot Is that what nonary means? Is it a, is it a shadow game? <laughs> <laughs> that was the last thing Junpei remembered. The white smoke overpowered him when the masked man faded from his vision, and he felt his consciousness fall away into the white mist. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him... I think I actually like looking at this version of the screen more than the, than the generic, like, bottom third thing anyway. Oh, I kind yeah. of like watching this text crawl over the, the image that's otherwise not moving anyway. Yeah. He ground his teeth in frustration and strained to remember anything about his attacker's figure. Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. The voice had been cold and mechanical, likely passed through a voice changer, and the body had been covered into a thick cloak. Never mind, the rasping part just didn't make sense yeah, ever. Yeah, like, I was <laughs> gonna say, never, wait, so then apparently you... Apparently it just never made sense they called it a rasping voice. So they just backtracked really quickly? There's yeah. Like, it, it, was, it was a voice changer, not rasping. Weird, yeah. Huh. Just who was that? They said... You have been chosen. What am I mean? That was beyond him. What the hell is going on? Why me? There was only one thing from his memory that seemed important. You are going to participate in a game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. In just case you the forgot already. <laughs> Huh. What the hell is a nonary game? God, God damn it! 